How lucky would you feel to live in a place like this? Very lucky is how Charlie and Julie felt when they moved in two years ago, having come from a terraced house. It's uh, quite different to what we were used to. It's not your run-of-the-mill house. It's a 200-year-old property. That brings its problems, but it brings its attractions as well. It's had a rich history. There are three blue plaques commemorating visits from King Edward VII, being home to playwright Edward Knobloch, and that it was a children's refuge during the Spanish Civil War. But with that history, it's had its fair share of knocks, including being divided in the 80s. For £350,000, Charlie and Julie own part of the basement, which they lavishly decorated when they first moved in, and a grand living room on the ground floor, which they now need to address. We've never lived in or decorated a room that size. Just proportions are a problem. To protect its historical and architectural significance, it's also Grade 2 star listed. Its original features have to be preserved. This is the room. Oh, that's fantastic, isn't it? There's a bit of TLC, but my word, look at that ceiling height. I mean, that's got to be four metres. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic, that. In Worthing on the South Coast, the reinstallment of some elegance into Charlie and Julie's Regency apartment is in full swing. The builders are enlarging and shifting the doorway, so it will be aligned with the fireplace, giving the room much improved balance. It looks as if it's going to work. Yeah. And it's too late to go back. And they're testing a very bold colour for the ceiling, black, to tie in with their listed features. Oh, well, here we go. No going back. What a difference. It's amazing. That is fantastic, isn't it? Looks good, yeah. Look at the ceiling. Yeah, there, there was a couple of sleepless nights talking about whether we should go for it, but, you know... If you're committed, you're committed, aren't you? But the brilliant thing is it stitches everything together, doesn't it? You've yeah. taken inspiration from the black that was around the surround yeah. of those beautiful high doors and actually picking up the gold everywhere mm -hmm. is stunning. That was covered up with wallpaper, so we've painted yeah, that this... in. You're joking. Mm -hmm. I had no idea that that detail was no. there. As if that wasn't enough, when they divided up what was the drawing room into a reception room and a kitchen, with a wall and door, the door was so misaligned it would have any self-respecting Georgian turning in their grave. By moving the door to align with the fireplace, we've reinstated some fundamental Georgian design principles and given the room much improved symmetry and proportion. The other elephant in the room was the staircase down to their basement the cheap balustrade on full display, an out-of-keeping eyesore. Now, by adding some affordable paired-back panelling, the staircase disappears into the background. It might not seem like the biggest move in the world, but I'll tell you what, what a difference that yeah. makes. Yeah. It kind of separates the stairs it, from the rest of the room. It defines the room. With just £7,000 to restructure, rewire, repaint and completely refurnish this palatial room, Charlie and Julie have managed to restore some understated elegance and balance. I couldn't be happier for them.